time for who's in your lineup card. Right. You have a Capital One Venture card. Here is who you're playing in your lineups for week one, Triggs. Uh, I'm going to go with a guy who got seven targets in the dress rehearsal for the Jacksonville Jaguars. A guy who is going to be playing Stephon Diggs' role in the John Filippo offense down in Jacksonville. I'm going to go with D.D. Westbrook. D.D. Westbrook has had a checkered pass. He was a Heisman finalist that went later in the draft and then goes in the fifth round and has a so, so, so couple first seasons. Mm. I am telling you, they love him in Jacksonville. Peter, you're in on him. You're in. This is your breakout star as far as numbers and receptions go. We're talking 70, 80, 90 receptions. And week one against that Chiefs defense, which everybody is saying is so improved. Let's see it first. I would also like to make the note that Jacksonville right now is suffering in a way that we hate to see on this Labor Day morning. Yeah. Everyone, we wish you the best. We're talking football here. We're trying to give some levity. But everyone in Jacksonville, be safe. And please take care of the ones that you love. No doubt. Well, and I'll so add on to that another mass shooting. So uh, our thoughts and prayers with those affected by that. Um, but let's spin it right back to football. Okay, who's in my lineup? I'm going with Tyro Williams, wide receiver for Oakland Raiders. Listen, Tyro Williams is one of those individuals who's quiet. I mean, especially being on a team with Antonio Brown, who's going to attract a lot of attention on the field and off of it. But you guys forget, they brought in Tyrell Williams from the Chargers and yeah. paid this dude around $11 million a season. So, of course, they're going to toss him the rock. Now, what is Derek Carr going to do when he drops back and he sees A.B.? There's a corner, there's a safety, there's another guy shading over. He's going to look at his big target, especially going up against the Broncos, where Chris Harris, dominant DB, is going to be facing with Antonio inside, outside, following him around. Now, Tyrell, Tyrell's going to have to step up, up against second string and third string DBs. So, I feel like Tyrell Williams is going to open up the season with a Big time game, over 100 yards, one TD, maybe eight or nine catches. Peter, you've been big on Didi. You've been big on Tyrell for a long time. I'm going to go a little differently. Uh, you go back to the double doink game, the Bears-Eagles playoff loss. Think of the players that were on the field that night. Khalil Mack, Fletcher Cox, Nick Foles, Alshon Jeffrey. The best player on the field that night for either team was Bears wide receiver Allen Robinson. I am mm. telling you, you want fantasy numbers in that loss. Ten catches for 143 yards and a touchdown. He broke the Bears playoff record that was set in the Super Bowl, guys. It was over 30 years old. Let me just put this out there. I was in Chicago last week. I spoke to, shall we say, a couple highly placed people in the Bears organization. Allen Robinson is ready. Mm. He is young. He is very healthy. And his chemistry with Mr. Trubisky is ready. You want to play someone in the kickoff game. It's fun to be watching Bears Packers and have a fantasy guy going. Allen Robinson, not a huge name. I don't know how many jerseys he sells. Okay, I don't really know where he goes in fantasy. Play him if you got him. Allen Robinson, ready. Yeah, go to NFL.com, check out the fantasy rankings to find all of that stuff out. I think the, the issue with him is that you look at what that team is and you think they're going to try to run with sure. David Montgomery and Tariq and they're going to do a bunch of different things and they might have not have to – game script wise put up as many points but against the Packers and Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers gets going that game script out the window with Robinson with the defense being as stacked as it is it's, is he going to need that volume from Mr. Trubisky so. but if you say you like him it looks good man. I'm into it I'll it quickly good. submit the Ravens defense yes a defense that is playing the early slate of action I love the Ravens they were top five overall defense last year but I think they're going to win people uh, their leagues this year but certainly their week one matchups they're going up against Miami I mean Miami took a fantasy sledgehammer to their offense getting rid of Tum Tunsil, and Kenny Stills, their deep threat. So I really think Fitzpatrick's going to struggle mightily against the Ravens and Judon and Marlon Humphrey and